Yeah. And it's a really interesting uh, passage. I think it's in Micah. It talks about the breaker breaks through. And when they, when they, when uh, Hebrew shepherds had their sheep in a, in a sort of temporary area, they would generally use stones or thorns just to take a temporary thing. And then the, the shepherd would go out, make a small hole, and then the first sheep would push through it. Uh, but often, you know, that first breakthrough, you had to push through and make a hole that the shepherd was leading them out of. And some people, they want to wait until someone else has made the hole for them to follow, which I guess is okay. Um, but there are some people who are called to do the breakthrough. Um, you know, and they tend to have to push through because there's always op usually opposition that you have to overcome or push through to make a way to open up the door. Then those people on the door then can effectively move through. And it's usually Jesus comes through first, you know, um, and I think that's the key for, for him to go through, us to follow. And then there are usually people who follow closely and there are those who then follow people who follow closely and i guess some of us are those that are the breaker or have the breaker anointing or calling that you just pioneer breaking through for others to follow but then it does break out and i think it's there's a there's a term called morphic dissonance which basically means that when people don't believe something is possible they don't even attempt to do it when someone's done it, that breaks the mindset that it's impossible and then more and more people do it afterwards. The example is a four minute mile. Scientists said it's impossible for a man to run the mile in under four minutes, not possible. Rogers Bannister did it. Within a few, few months, hundreds of people have done it just because they believe they could do it rather than not believing they could do it. And I think when some people show it's possible, it opens the door for others to believe and at work. And some people are just waiting for the example, I guess. The, and that's, I guess, what discipleship is. Jesus dis was the model for discipleship. And then the disciples that followed him were then sent out to do what he did um, and rejoice when they could. But I'm sure they were somewhat a bit with trepidation to start with. Can we do it? Yeah, we're going to do it. And then eventually it all transpires um, that they could do it. You know, and what Jesus said, you can do all the things I do and greater things, was then at work in practice. And I think when it talks about the, the kingdom of God suffers violence, that's really what it's talking. It doesn't mean we are, we are violent people towards each other. It means that we're going to press through and break through. And sometimes yeah. that is, it requires a push to get through a hole, which is probably not big enough for you to get through, really, until you make it bigger. And some people have to jostle through to make it bigger than other people can follow behind. You know, and you've got to be, you know, pioneers are not those that give up. Uh, when when it appears there's no way, they find a way, they make a way. Uh, particularly if they're following after Jesus who's gone before, then you know that the path is ahead of you and you just got to keep going, not give up. Perseverance is a, is a powerful thing. 